Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. Hey everybody, welcome back to a quick beer review of uh, finishing off the Lawson's beers that my man Rodrigo sent me. I can't thank you enough, bro. Appreciate you. Uh, this is Triple Sunshine. Another revisited beer for me. I'm stoked. It's been a while since I've had this. The last time I had this, it was in the tequila barrel aged form and it was absolutely fantastic. It was pants off status. I loved that beer. So first time I reviewed this was again, nine or so years ago. Uh, it was in big 22 ounce bomber with a foil on it. <laughs> it's 10 and a half percent. We were just solo dome and bombers back then. Those are the good old days of craft beer. So uh, Lawson's Waitfield, Waitsfield, Vermont, um, triple IPA, I think is just the triple IPA version of Sip of Sunshine and Double Sunshine. I don't know. I thought Double Sunshine was the double IPA version of Sip of Sunshine, but it turns out they're both the same ABV. Also, this is our third <laughs> beer review of the night. We have reviewed Sip of Sunshine and Double Sunshine. Your boy is feeling really, really good right now. So, uh, anything else to say? No, I do appreciate at this point, the 12 ounce format of this. So. Uh, canned on December 19th, so time recording just about two months in the can. Let's get into it, shall we? All three of these beers were canned right around the same time. So, again, Rodrigo, I appreciate you, bro. Can't thank you enough for sharing these. This beer is a little bit, I mean, it probably looks way darker on camera. This is a, actually, no, this beer, it looks just like Double and Sip of Sunshine. So, it's that sunshiny yellow. Uh, I don't know, same as Double Sunshine Quarterfinger of, it's like an ink shell head. Not a whole lot of bubbles uh, in the glass, but there's carb there. It's chill haze, but I can see my finger. It is clear beer. And the Lawson's Finest Liquids Glassware, because you guys know beer tastes better in proper glassware. It says straight from the Green Mountains to your head. It has gone to my head tonight, that's for sure. Let's smell this. I remember, so back when I had this the first time, all I wanted in life was like the biggest, craziest, dankest, highest ABV beers, and I remember loving this beer. And then the tequila barrel aged version of this, that was around like COVID time, I think, like 2020, it's been like four years. So let's see what we think of old Triple Sunshine these days. It smells like a big boy beer. <laughs> There's a twinge, a twinge of booze. But this has, it, it smells like boozy, like pineapple and some sort of like, what is that? It's some sort of tropical fruit. Do we make something up? <laughs> What's the fruit that you oh, you cut it in half and there's like the little seed, pomegranate? It's not pomegranate. I just want to make something like, like just something ridiculous. Just <laughs> some of the tasting and smelling notes I hear from some people are just like, fuck, I don't even know what that is. This is, yeah, it's, I think pineapple is good. Uh, it's obviously like citrus. I think there's a little bit of grapefruit in there too, but it is boozy and it's sweet. And some of that sweetness could be an age thing or it could just be the 10 half percent. I mean, you're up in the malts to get the alcohol higher, right? There's like a earthy kind of a funk too. It smells good. Let's go and taste it. Rodrigo, cheers. Appreciate you killing me today, bro. <laughs> it's my own fault. I didn't have to drink all three of these the same day. I taste nothing like I was expecting. Holy shit. Where is like, it's not sweet and it's not boozy. It is like grapefruity, orange zest, good amount of like pithy citrus, like peel, middle of your tongue. And it's got a cool, like dank bitterness. Like, why doesn't it smell like, maybe it's just an age thing on the nose. It does not smell dank. But good lord, it tastes dang, and it tastes amazing. It is sweet on the finish, but you'd expect that with 10 and a half. I mean, you'd expect that with 10 and a half percent, he says, but it doesn't taste like it's 10 and a half percent. This beer's sticky. Holy smokes, that's good. I, dude, I want to. I don't know how I would do it. I gotta find somebody in Vermont. I wanna drink these beers fresh, like two or three weeks, just to, like, I mean, these beers are all close to two months, which isn't old by any means, but um, you guys know, like as IPAs sit in cans, like the hops fade a little bit. It, listen, you don't have to drink them dead fresh, but after drinking these at almost two months, like holy smokes, I want to, 
Like I want to drink these at like two or three weeks just to see. Because this is awesome. That pineapple is there. As it's warmed a little bit, maybe a little bit of booze um, that you, you notice. I mean, dude, it's almost 11%. Like, it's got to, there's got to be something there that tastes like alcohol, right? If not, you just drink these one after another and you die. It's like, it's what you do. Um, but so much citrus fruit, pineapple. There's something else that's tropical that I don't know what it is. Good amount of bitterness, middle of your tongue. There's a dank thing and then there's a cool malty sweetness. Again with this one, I've said it in every review, wildly drinkable for the ABV. It's crazy. This one sits a bit like longer on your tongue though. Like you can just tell it's a big triple IPA. I just wish it's, it's not that I, I'm not mad at how it smells. It just doesn't, it tastes so much crazier than it smells. I think the nose is an age thing, but holy smokes, it's still delicious. Clearly I've drank almost half of what I poured. It's dry on the finish too. Just makes you want to keep sipping on it. That sweetness on the finish now is so good with all that like citrus fruit and peel and dankness. Gosh, these beers, I am a Lawson's fanboy still. I'm glad. I'm glad I got to revisit these. Um, I just, I used to lose my mind over these beers back in the day and I still love them. So this beer's still fire. I'm so glad it's still fire. So um, yeah, I think I might've found Jeff had sent me, my buddy Jeff sent me two bottles of tequila barrel aged triple sunshine. And I think I reviewed the one and I meant to share the other one like at Christmas time the one year and it got stuck in the back of the fridge. I'll have to look, I might have it. It'd be fun to revisit that. I mean, it's like four years old at this point, but fuck it, who cares, right? <laughs> like it's, it's tequila barrel aged, like who cares? So uh, <laughs> that's triple sunshine from Lawson's. Rodrigo, I appreciate you, man. Like, thanks so much for sharing these. I'm stoked. These were so, so good. So. Have you guys had this recently? Let me know what you think of it. I hope you have. I hope you guys. I hope everyone still likes this beer. Um, and if not, tell me why you don't. Tell me. Tell me all about Lawson's these days. How are they doing? So, uh, that's it. I'm out of here. See you guys soon. Cheers. Thank you for coming behind the bar in the arcade. All that shit. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse, so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes.